In this video, I'm going to show you three ways you can set up an image placeholder in Microsoft Word. An image placeholder is useful if you want an image in a certain place and set at a certain width and height, no matter what a user changes it to. Insert an image in your document. If your image is in a multiple column section like this page, change the image's text wrap setting to square. Right click the image and choose Format Picture at the bottom of the shortcut menu. In the Format Picture pane, click on the fourth icon, which is called Picture. Open the Crop menu. Here is where you'll set the width and height that you want. If the image doesn't fill the whole crop area, go to the crop button, click on the arrow and choose the fill option. Notice the image looks like it's been resized proportionately. We can move the visible area around inside the crop marks to see the part of the image we want. Press the escape key to close the crop marks. Now right click the image and choose change picture. When you change it, regardless of whether the new image is the same orientation or different, it will replace the original image but retain the width and height. If you want to have several image sizes to choose from, let's say a full page, half page and a third of a page option, the Quick Parts feature is a great tool to use. Quick Parts are pre-formatted objects that can be saved within a template and users can drop them into a file. They can be blocks of text, shapes or images. This is only available on the Windows version of Microsoft Word. Let's say you don't want to use a proper image this time. You want a mock image with instructions. What I do is create a rectangle or text box and size it at my width and height. Then add 0.1 centimeters to both sides. This is because I'm going to crop it later, just like in part one. Next, I write instructions in the shape and format the text how I want. After that, I copy the shape, go to the black arrow under the paste button and choose the image option. The final step is to crop the new image. It is the crop that fixes the width and height, so this step is crucial. Select the image, right click it and choose Format Picture. Choose a fourth icon in the pane. Open the crop menu if it's not open already and change the width and height to the settings you want, knocking off the extra millimetre you added earlier. Now we can test it and see that a new image will replace it at the same width and height. To finish this off, we need to save the mock image as a quick part. This is easy. All you do is select it and press the Alt and F3 keys together on your keyboard. If that is not possible, go to the Insert tab, click the Quick Parts button, and then the Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery text at the bottom of the menu. Give your new image placeholder a name. The gallery is the button you'll access it from. You already have galleries available here in the Insert menu, from the Cover Page button, the Insert Table button, and the Text Box button. We're going to choose the Quick Parts button. You can split a drop down menu into categories. You'll notice most galleries, like the one attached to the text box, has a category called built in or general. You can save the quick part in there, or you can give it your own name. Do note that the categories are shown in alphabetical order. If your category name doesn't start before B, or in some cases G, it will appear lower than the assets already in the drop down menu. To get around this, start your category name with an underscore. If you want to give your quick pass a short description, you can do here. 
you will need to save it in a template. You can save the quick part in the generic templates that were installed on your device by Microsoft Word, or you can save it to your own custom template. Finally, choose how you want the quick part to be dropped in. It can be dropped in on its own, wherever your cursor is. It can be dropped into its own paragraph, or it can create its own page and be dropped in there. Now, whenever you want to drop in a placeholder for an image of a particular size, drop in the relevant quick parts and replace the image with the one you want. In PowerPoint, a picture placeholder has an icon that you can press that allows you to find an image to put in its place. You can do something very similar with Microsoft Word's Picture Content Control. Go to the Developer tab and click on the Picture Content Control icon. It will add a square Picture Content Control to your page. Right click the shaded area and choose Format Picture at the bottom of the shortcut menu. In the fourth icon, go to the crop arrow and expand it. Enter the width and height that you want. If the shaded area doesn't fill the whole crop area, go to the crop button in the picture format tab and click the black arrow and choose fill. Click on a blank area of the page to finish. Now you can click on the icon and add the image you want. It will resize to the width and height that you set for the crop area.